Hey, welcome back. Let's start with our first technique of feature engineering that is handling missing data. So in this video, we are going to learn about how to handle missing data in your data set. The real world data often has a lot of missing data. The values, uh, the cause of missing values can be data corruption or failure to record data. The handling of missing data is very important during the pre-processing of the data set as many machines learning algorithms do not support missing values. So there are quite some algorithms which usually they just regress or they just want to remove out all the missing values. They won't support it and will give very bad values. But again, there are some algorithms like KNN, Nave bias, which are quite susceptible to uh, missing values. So what I mean by missing value is so let's take our previous example. We have a data set somewhere like this. And we have name, age, and let's say how many hours he is running. So, so for the first person, there will be X, Y, Z. So two, three. For person X, there will be age 10. For y it will be 15 let's say 12 hours so what we can do is for hours let's say there are two hours three hours and there be four hours or five hours something now let's say one more new individual one more data is there of uh, let's say a person's name is a and he's of age 20 but his hour and now is not like how many hours he is running in a day is not given so that is some missing data and we will look into how to correlate with that missing data let's jump into a jupyter notebook and get on some hands-on view of this. for this we are going to use the famous titanic data set it's quite famous and most of the beginners starts from this data set so probably I guess you must have heard about it. If you haven't, that's completely fine. We are also going to build out a model out of it once we start with the machine learning algorithm. So let's start by jumping into our Jupyter notebook. Now, what I have done for this video is I have created a notes section for handling missing data. So this is the notes for you guys. So all the theory and most of the things have been written over here, but we are going to hard code it right now. So let's start. So what we have done is we have created one more file for you just for this video so that we can hard code everything out. So the, fir the first step is importation. We have to import all the libraries that are needed. So let's import pandas as pd. Let's import numpy as np. Now apart from this, a third library that I would like to teach you guys is missing go. So let's import missing go missing no. So it stands for missing number as M S N O. So that is a library so that we can just look into visualize our missing data. So let's run this. So hopefully everything was okay. Let's import our data set so it's pd.read csv and the name of the data set is let's copy out the name titanic data set so let's run it and let's check our data so we have a bunch of column passenger id p class name sex age save sp parts tickets fare cabin and embark so let's check the shape of it there's a typo okay 4118 rows and 11 columns are there okay so let's start with this now let's check out the info so these are something which I usually do before doing any feature engineering into this so there are 418 columns and you can see that there are a bunch of missing columns and this is again code 64 these are some objects okay so these are something which i usually do now if you could remember we imported a, a library that was missing number now let's look into 
what it does. So msno dot matrix and let's pass our D type to this. So this is what msno can do. So missing number, what it does, it, it will create an uh, sort of an uh, visualization which will just tell us that how much of missing data is present. So for passenger ID, P class, name, sex, all of these are having no missing data. All the white bars that you can look, these are the missing data that we have. So even you can look into, into all of these. Okay, there are a bunch of NAN in cabin. So in cabin, I guess there are a lot of missing values. So MS number is something for which we use that. Then there's one more function that is MSNO bar and let's pass data into this. So you can see that uh, there are a bunch of missing values. In Kevin, there are a lot more than 50% of uh, the data is quite missing. So there are two ways to approach this problem. You can delete the rows with missing values. So Kevin is a row that probably I will remove because it is not having a bunch of values. Or apart from that, what I can do is I will remove all the rows. Okay, what do I mean by rows is this one. The straight line, what you can see is a row and the columns are the features. So always remember rows is equal to data points and columns is equal to features. 